The cougar, also known as the puma, mountain lion, or panther, is a large feline that is native to the Americas. It is an apex predator that is found in a wide range of habitats, including forests, mountains, and deserts. The cougar is an elusive and solitary animal that is known for its speed and agility. Adults can weigh between 80 to 250 pounds and can be up to 8 feet long from nose to tail. They have a tan or tawny coat, a long tail and a distinctive white chest. They are known for their powerful legs and large paws which help them to make huge leaps and bounds. Cougars are opportunistic hunters, and their diet consists of a wide variety of prey, including deer, elk, bighorn sheep, and even small mammals and insects. They are solitary animals and are active primarily during the night and early morning. Cougars are apex predators and play a critical role in maintaining the ecological balance of their habitat. However, human activities such as habitat destruction and hunting have led to a decline in cougar populations in many areas. Conservation efforts are now in place to protect cougars and their habitats. The cougar is considered as a top predator in their ecosystem. They are adaptable and resilient, but human activities like hunting, habitat destruction, and fragmentation have reduced their population. In some areas, they are considered as endangered and threatened. The bald eagle, Haliaetus leucocephalus, is a large bird of prey that is native to North America. It is the national bird of the United States and is known for its distinctive white head and tail feathers, which give it its name. Adult bald eagles can have a wingspan of up to 8 feet and can weigh up to 14 pounds. Bald eagles are found near large bodies of water, where they can hunt for fish, which make up the majority of their diet. They also feed on waterfowl, small mammals, and carrion. They are powerful flyers and can reach speeds of up to 30 miles per hour. Bald eagles are monogamous and typically mate for life. They build large nests, often using sticks and branches, which can weigh up to 2 tons. They are typically found in Canada, Alaska and the lower 48 states. Bald eagles were once listed as an endangered species due to hunting and habitat loss, but conservation efforts have led to a rebound in their population. They are now considered to be a symbol of American freedom and strength. The bald eagle is a national symbol of the United States. The bird is protected by the Bald and Golden Eagle Protection Act and the Migratory Bird Treaty Act. The species is also listed as endangered in some states. They have a brown body with a white head and tail, yellow eyes, and a yellow beak. They are predatory birds that feed mainly on fish but also eat small mammals and birds. A scorpion is an arthropod of the order Scorpiones within the class Arachnida. They are found in many different parts of the world and can live in a wide range of habitats, from deserts to rainforests. Scorpions are known for their venomous sting, which they use to capture prey and defend themselves. They have a pair of pincers, or pedipalps, and a segmented tail that ends in a venomous sting. Scorpions are nocturnal creatures and typically hide during the day. They are also able to survive for long periods of time without food or water, which makes them well suited to living in harsh environments. Scorpions play an important role in their ecosystem by helping to control the population of insects and other small animals. Scorpions are found on every continent except Antarctica, with the majority of species found in the tropics. They can range in size from less than an inch to over 9 inches long. Scorpions typically have a hard exoskeleton that protects them from predators and the elements. They are carnivorous and eat a variety of small animals, including insects, spires, and small lizards. They use their venomous sting to capture prey and defend themselves from predators. The venom is used to paralyze or kill their prey and also to defend themselves from potential predators. Most species of scorpions are not dangerous to humans, but a few species have venom that is strong enough to cause serious harm or even death. Scorpions are usually shy and will avoid human contact if possible, but they can become aggressive if they feel threatened. It is important to be cautious around scorpions and avoid disturbing them. Some species of scorpions are also known for their fluorescent properties which fluoresce under UV light, making them easier to spot and study. Beavers are large, semi-aquatic rodents that are native to North America, Europe, and Asia. They are known for their ability to build dams, canals, and lodges using branches, mud, and other materials. 
The most recognizable feature of beavers is their broad, flat tail, which they use for propulsion and balance when swimming. Beavers are herbivores and their diet mainly consists of bark, leaves, and aquatic plants. Their lodges provide protection from predators, and they use their dams to create deep water habitats that are safe from terrestrial predators. Beavers are social animals and typically live in colonies, or families, of up to 12 individuals. They have a monogamous mating system, with one male and one female mating for life. The young, called kids, are born in the spring and are cared for by both parents. Beaver populations have been significantly reduced by human hunting and habitat destruction, but they have made a comeback in many areas due to conservation efforts. However, they are still considered a keystone species, as their dam building activities create and maintain wetlands that provide habitats for many other species. Beaver's dam building activity is not only beneficial for wildlife but also provide human benefits like soil conservation, improvement of water quality, and control of floods and droughts. They are also valued for their fur, which is used for clothing and other materials. Despite the benefits they provide, beavers can also cause problems for humans. Their dam building activities can flood roads, fields, and buildings, and their gnawing on trees can damage forests and orchards. Therefore, it's important to manage beaver populations in a way that balances their ecological benefits with the needs of people. Squirrels are a group of small to medium-sized rodents belonging to the family Sayuridae. They are found in most parts of the world and are known for their bushy tails and agile movements. There are over 200 species of squirrels, which can be divided into tree squirrels, ground squirrels, and flying squirrels. Tree squirrels are the most common and include species such as the eastern gray squirrel and the eastern fox squirrel. These squirrels are arboreal, meaning they live in trees, and are known for their acrobatic abilities. They use their sharp claws and strong hind legs to climb trees and branches, and can even jump great distances between trees. Ground squirrels are found in a variety of habitats, including meadows, deserts, and woodlands. They are known for their burrowing habits, as they dig underground tunnels and dens to live in. Examples of ground squirrels include the Eastern Chipmunk, the California Ground Squirrel and the Richardson's Ground Squirrel. Squirrels are herbivores and eat a variety of plants and fruits, including nuts, seeds, berries, and even flowers. They are also known to eat insects and eggs, and are opportunistic feeders, meaning they will eat whatever food is available to them. Squirrels are also known for their intelligence, as they have been observed using tools, solving puzzles, and even exhibiting problem-solving skills. They are also known for their ability to hoard food, which they do by burying nuts and seeds for later consumption. Squirrels are generally active during the day and can be found in a variety of habitats, including forests, parks, and even urban areas. They are also known for their ability to adapt to human-modified environments and can often be found in gardens and residential areas. Squirrels are generally not considered to be a pest, but they can cause damage to gardens and can sometimes enter houses and buildings. They can also be carriers of diseases such as rabies and tularemia, and can carry fleas and ticks. Despite this, squirrels are generally considered to be beneficial animals, as they help to disperse seeds and pollinate plants. They are also a popular subject of study and research in fields such as ecology, behavior and conservation biology. Prairie dogs are small, burrowing rodents that are native to the Great Plains of North America. They are a type of ground squirrel and belong to the genus Cynomys, which includes five species of prairie dogs. They are known for their complex social systems and their ability to use vocalizations to communicate with each other. Prairie dogs are small animals, with adults typically measuring between 30 and 40 centimeters in length, and weighing between 0.5 and 1.5 kilograms. They have short, coarse fur that is typically brown or black in color. Their heads are large and round, with small ears and large, expressive eyes. They have short, powerful legs that are well adapted for digging and burrowing. Prairie dogs are herbivores and primarily eat grasses, forbs, and small amounts of fruits and seeds. They are diurnal animals and spend most of their day foraging for food. They are also known for their complex social systems and their ability to use vocalizations to communicate with each other. Prairie dogs live in large colonies called towns, 
which can cover several square miles and contain thousands of individuals. Within these towns, prairie dogs have a complex social hierarchy. Each town is divided into smaller family groups called coteries, which consist of a breeding male and female, their offspring, and a few non-breeding adults. These coteries are further organized into neighborhoods, which consist of several coteries that share a common borough system. Prairie dogs use a variety of vocalizations to communicate with each other. These vocalizations include barks, chirps, and whistles, which are used to convey information about predators, food, and other important information. Prairie dogs also use physical gestures, such as standing on their hind legs and waving their front paws, to communicate with each other. Prairie dogs are considered a keystone species in the Great Plains ecosystem, as they play an important role in shaping the landscape and providing food and habitat for other animals. However, they have been heavily persecuted in the past, and their populations have declined dramatically due to habitat loss, disease, and human persecution. Today, they are considered a conservation concern and are protected by law in some areas. Despite this, conservation efforts have been successful in some regions, and prairie dog populations have begun to recover in some areas. These efforts include reintroduction programs, habitat restoration, and disease management. Overall, prairie dogs are fascinating and important animals that play a critical role in the ecosystem of the Great Plains. They have complex social systems and unique ways of communicating with each other. However, their populations have been greatly reduced by human activities, and their continued survival is uncertain.